Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving back into the NHV boot to explore an essential topic, troubleshooting and fixing BCD error 098. If you've encountered this error or any BCD related issues, you're in the right place. We'll show you how to resolve this error without the need to run a series of commands to rebuild the BCD. And here's a friendly reminder, before trying any repairs, always create a backup of the disk you are working on. If you're unsure how to create a backup, check out our previous video for a step-by-step -step guide. Let's dive straight into troubleshooting this error. It's important to note that the troubleshooting phase occurs when the Windows repair has failed to fix the issue and before resorting to running the commands to rebuild the BCD. Additionally, please keep in mind that the specific commands may vary slightly depending on whether your system uses MBR or GBT partitioning. Step 1 involves using Windows Repair to troubleshoot and repair the issue. Simply press F1 to enter the recovery environment when prompted at the bottom of the screen. From there, select Troubleshoot and then Startup Repair to fix problems preventing Windows from loading. While Windows Repair might not always be able to resolve the issue, it's worth trying as the first step. If Windows Repair could not fix the problem, it's time for Step 2 examining the BCD store. Go back to the Advanced Options menu and choose Command Prompt this time. Using the command BCD Edit Enum All, we can take a closer look at the BCD store and its entries. The output of this command shows us the boot manager and boot loader entries in the BCD store. What we are going to look for is the bootloader entry for our Windows. By reviewing the output of the command, we can identify missing or incorrect entries that might be causing the error. Let's take a closer look at the entries in the BCD store. One important entry is the firmware boot manager or the boot manager stored in the NVRAM. This boot manager helps us choose the boot device or hard disk from the UEFI settings it's like a signpost pointing us in the right direction. Just below that, we have the Windows Boot Manager, which is located on the EFI system partition. This boot manager's job is to find the Windows Boot Loader. Now, here's where things can get a bit tricky. The Windows Boot Loader listed below the Boot Manager is not actually our Windows installation. It turns out that it's the Windows Repair environment, so unfortunately, we can't find the entry for the Windows bootloader on our C drive. And here's the catch. If there's no entry for the Windows bootloader on the C drive, Windows simply won't load. It's like trying to find a key that is not in the right place. As you can see from this point on, there is no more entry for Windows bootloader. In step 3, if we find a missing entry for the Windows bootloader, we can use NeoSmart ECBCD to fix the problem. Boot up the computer with the NHV boot and launch NeoSmart ECBCD from the NHV boot menu. It is a popular software tool developed by NeoSmart Technologies that provides a user-friendly interface for managing the boot configuration data, or the BCD, on Windows system. We will use this software to add new boot entries or new Windows bootloader to the BCD. Although ECBCD might display a message about EFI mode not supporting multi-boot features, it's not an issue for our purpose. Clicking on View Settings will show us the current entries for Windows bootloader in the BCD store. Unfortunately, there is no entry here. If in the previous section we found no entry for the Windows bootloader, we can simply click Add new entry right here. For example, the new entry pointing to our C drive in this case. Simply click the Add icon here. EasyBCD makes it easy to add the Windows bootloader entry or any other OS loader entry and ensure the boot manager can locate the bootloader on the right partition. Then click the Save Setting button. Next, restart your computer and you'll notice that it now boots into Windows.
Once in Windows, you can verify the changes we made to the BCD by using the command BCD edit enum all again. Take a look at the screen. And you'll see our newly added Windows bootloader entry. This entry is responsible for successfully loading our Windows operating system. And there you have it. That wraps up our troubleshooting and fixing guide for the BCD error 098. By following this tutorial, you can save yourself the hassle of running a long series of commands to rebuild the BCD. We hope you found this video helpful in resolving the issue. If you did, we kindly ask you to click the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.